Hey y'all, it's Queen J and I'm back and this is my show, Talks with Queen J. And I just wanted to come on here and talk about black on black crime. So, all these shootings that be happening out here that they show on TV or on Facebook or any social network, they always show black bodies, black men and women getting shot down, getting beat up, getting just tortured, whatever the you want to say, they always showing black bodies getting shot, getting shot running away, getting shot on the ground, getting choked out on the ground. Just they always show black bodies dying on TV. Can y'all tell me one time recently in the past couple of years that they've showed a white body getting shot down? I'll wait. Okay. No, it's very traumatizing for me personally to see this on a regular basis. It's like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram has no problem showing black bodies getting shot, killed, nothing. But some, for some reason, they have an issue with white bodies getting shown shot beat up and whatnot they never show white people getting shot the fuck up Ooh, sorry they never show white people getting well they might show white people getting beat up for being racist because nowadays with trump being our president white people or caucasians getting very bold nowadays saying the n-word this that and the third thinking that nothing's gonna happen to them but lo and behold they find out what happens when they say that to somebody but it's very traumatizing to me to see these black bodies get shot down and for them to be shared and posted on Facebook on a regular basis. And when these things happen, I'm such a sensitive person. Like, I'm a strong-willed woman, but I'm very sensitive. And I can't even watch one of those videos all the way until the end when the person actually gets shot or killed because I'm so sensitive and I'm just going to bust out crying because... Who are these officers or who are these people to think that they could just take somebody's life for no reason? Oh, I know because they don't, they don't believe in black lives. They don't care about black lives. They don't care about black bodies. They care more about freaking animals, dogs and shit out here than they do black bodies, which is very sad. So they have these police officers over here who are racist come over here and police our hoods or our, we're, majority of black people stay and don't know how to handle them don't know how to just are just oh these are n words oh they're gonna beat me up they're gonna shoot me they're gonna do something wrong to me and then all these police police officers most of them get off even if they get charged they don't go to prison and while the and while the investigation is going on they're suspended with pay that's like a vacation getting paid why the is these niggas getting paid or these crackers or these white people getting paid when they're under investigation for murder? Please tell me why. But when regular people are investigated or think that, you know, we murdered somebody, we're under the jail until proven innocent. But these police officers get a pass. Can, can y'all tell me why? And then when there's like, five police officers or four police officers or however many and they throw one black police officer in there oh we can't be racist there was a black officer once once you become a police officer it's not black and white anymore it's blue i don't trust the police um i always feel some type of way when i when the police is around whenever i see somebody pulled over i'm always trying to like see what's going on if they're okay like why is there so many police officers there because you never know what can happen like it's really it it really is like scary out here for black people not even just men women too y'all saw how they did sandra bland and what did she do just speak up for herself and they killed her and try to make it seem like she hung herself in prison get the out of here they take your shoelaces, belts, and everything when you go to prison. So how she hang herself? And she was tall as shit. So how she hang herself on her bed, bunk bed? Really? And it's like, bruh, like... And when these things happen, 
I be wanting to go to like my friends and talk to them and like engage and it's like there's only certain people I can really really engage with that give me the feedback that I want and if they're not available I'm just over here like sad about it like this shit is insane like this shit is scary it's not okay and I don't even know if anything is gonna change in our lifetime it just seems like it's getting worse like nothing has changed since back in the 60s and 50s but camera phones and video phones and these police officers have uh have live cams on their shirts and still not guilt going to prison still not getting penalized like i don't understand these officers aren't getting penalized for murdering people in cold blood and lying about it literally lying about it they're not getting in trouble they're not getting fired they're not getting their pension taken they're not getting anything but if somebody else shoots somebody or if somebody else does something they're guilty until proven innocent but a police officer oh we got to give him the benefit of the doubt i ain't giving none of these police officers the benefit of the doubt i don't trust the police i'm not gonna call the police if something happens to me because they probably gonna shoot me i don't know like and it's so crazy, like, because I'm young, like, I'm 28 years old, you know, I still want to have a family, I want to have kids, but it terrifies me to bring kids into this world, especially young black men, because you never know what is going to happen. You never know if your son, uncle, dad, brother, grandfather is going to come home that day because of stupid shit that's happening in the world, because clearly... There's a list of things that black people can't do while being black, i.e. sleeping at Yale, i.e. having a barbecue, i.e. going to the pool, i.e. going to Starbucks, i.e. going to Waffle House. Like, we can't do anything out here without white people calling the police on us and us getting dragged or us getting effed up or shot or killed for no reason. But when these people call the police... For no reason at all, what do they get? They need to get either probation, they need to get house arrest, or they need to get and they need to go to jail for a week and see how it is to want to call the police on somebody. And you know, and they know what happens when the police get called on black people. Somebody can end up being shot, and they don't care. They don't care, which proves to me that. They're just racist and they don't give a f and people want to and white people want to say, oh, black people are racist. Black people cannot be racist. We do not have the power to oppress anybody. So with that being said, we cannot be racist. We can be prejudiced, but we cannot be racist. Um, if any of my subscribers, followers, whatever, can reach out to me and, you know, engage with me about these things, I would greatly appreciate it, especially black men. There's maybe like one or two guys that I can actually engage with about these topics that actually give me the feedback that I'm looking for or that I want or that makes me feel, I guess, a little more better for the time being. But Sometimes when I go to talk to certain black men about these situations, they shoo me away or they brush me off and say, oh, that has nothing to do with me. It literally has everything to do with you, sweetheart. And if I feel a way about it and I'm a black woman, you should feel a way about it because you're a black man. Like, it's just so sad out here. Back to the black on black crime thing from the jump, what I was really talking about in the beginning of the video. There is no such thing as as black on black crime people kill who they are around if black people are around black people they're gonna kill black people if white people are around white people they're gonna kill white people hispanics asians whatever the case you're gonna kill what you're around they don't say shit about white on white crime or latino on latino crime it's all the same it's all crime there's no such thing as, as black on black crime that shit makes no sense they just came out with that to have a rebuttal to us saying black lives matter and things like that like get out of here and they and the fact that they portray black people to be such animals we're so violent we're so evil we're so this and that do y'all she do y'all see black people black men or black women out here shooting up schools 
uh, shooting up movie theaters. Uh, shooting up concerts in Las Vegas and able to get into a hotel with many a guns and ammo? No. You don't see none of us black people doing no stupid shit or crazy shit like that. You only see white people doing it. But we're the animals. If we were so much of animals and we were so violent, every time we would see a white person, we would whoop their ass, slap the shit out of them, or fight them or shoot them. We've been through slavery we've been through slavery for over 400 years. It has not ended. It has become mental slavery now instead of well there is some some uh physical slavery out here too but that's another topic for another day but if we were so violent and such monsters every time we saw a caucasian or a white person they would get knocked the fuck out we are so us as black people are so compassionate and so caring that we give y'all a pass unless y'all try us we're not letting y'all get away with calling us a nigger, nigga, or none of that shit. But with Trump being in office, white people, not even just white people, people of all races, Latinos and all that stuff too, have become so comfortable with saying the N-word, with calling people out of their names, with, with telling people to go back to their countries. Black people have countries to go back to. Africa. Latino people have countries to go back to. Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Cuba, whatever. Where do white people have to go? Oh, oh I'll wait. Because y'all don't own the United States. If anything, all of us are immigrants because the white people, Christopher Columbus and all that, stole this from the Native Americans. So if you want to call somebody an immigrant, tell them to go back to your country, you need to go back to yours, which is where? Nowhere. 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 <sighs> anyways y'all i just had to come on here and make a video about this because it makes me feel some type of way like i'm always looking to see what what's going on in the world like on youtube i'm always trying to find out like oh what are black people going through today what black person got caught the police called on them today for doing going in and out of their air and airbnb or going to the pool it's always some bullshit y'all calling the police wasting their time for bullshit for no reason that's wasting tax dollars and y'all deserve to be penalized for that shit anyways you guys tell me what you guys think about this video um let me know if you guys want to engage with me how you guys feel about things that are going on in our community in the world with black men and women in the police how do y'all feel about the police um i love you guys please like subscribe and comment hit the bell so you guys notified when i post a new video and thank you guys i love you